going on guys it's david and today we're going to take a deep dive into my everyday carry all right so we're going to start with the book bag this is my peak design everyday carry 30 liter book bag i've had this book bag now for two years and it's super solid being waterproof dust proof and then having all of the compartments to store things and keep everything nice and secure i don't think you can beat it my favorite features on this thing have to be the magnetic pockets that it has so we have um, both of your water bottle holders right here on the side and we have a magnetic pocket on the bottom. This carries your straps. So if you have a tripod or you know a yoga mat or whatever you're doing, you can hook this down to the bottom, which is a super dope feature and you tuck them away. Like I said, it's magnetic, so you can't really beat it. And then your top is gonna be double secured, not only with your clamp, but also with your magnet. I almost forgot about my favorite magnetic part. It's the book bag straps. Usually these book bag straps are going all over the place, but with the Peak Design, they're literally magnetized to the back and they don't go anywhere. The next thing is gonna be my baby. This is the Apple MacBook Pro M1 chip. This is the base model 16 inch and has been plenty. This has the 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, 16 gigabyte RAM with a 512 SSD inside of it. I know what you're thinking, that's not enough storage. And that's why my next item is gonna be the Samsung T7 external SSDs. I mean, these are easily my favorite SSDs. I know there's faster ones on the market now, but these have just served me super well. I actually have four of them. I have two of the regular T7s and then two of the shields. I don't care for the shields as much because uh, as you can see on the back, I have um, Velcro just to stick to the back of my laptop and the T7 shields don't allow me to do that, but it is what it is. I just use these a little bit more just for the convenience factor. So the next thing is going to be my mouse, right? I honestly hate editing without a mouse. I don't like using the trackpad and this mouse kind of just spoiled me. This is the MX Masters 3 for iMac. The amount of custom buttons you can do on this just makes my editing process so much faster. There's a whole bunch of features on this mouse. If you guys want a more in-depth review, let me know. I know this is, I think the older model. This is the, the two, they might be on the three now, but um, it works super well. Next up, we have the Apple AirPod Max. I know these are a bit controversial for the price, the form factor, how they look. I like them, honestly, the only thing that is, you know, kind of eh, to me is the case. This case is kind of flimsy for, you know, a $500 pair of headphones. But I mean, the headphones are solid, so maybe that's why they're thinking that they don't need, you know, a crazy case for it. The construction on these is absolutely insane. And I will say that the noise cancellation and the sound quality is amazing, but at the same time, it's like, what else do you expect for $500? So they're good headphones. If you have the budget, maybe look into them. There might be better options on the market. I am just such an Apple fanboy, so the integration, so the integration, <laughs> so the integration between this and um, you know your phone and your iPads and your MacBooks is just so easy and so seamless that I just continue to grab these every time. And then some of the other stuff I carry in my bag is obviously you know my MacBook charger, and we have some USB-C to USB-C for the hard drives, you know, charging my camera and other devices as well. The next thing's gonna be my ultimate vlogging setup. Click that after you're done watching this, all right? If I see you clicking that before, we're gonna have issues, buddy. Anyways, ultimate vlogging setup, super solid setup. I actually did add something to it. This quick release from the grip itself. So yeah, that's a little thing I've added that's not in that video. It's the Falcam quick release system, pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Let's just move on. If you want to see more details on it, like I said, click there. So I do a lot of content creation um, and this comes in handy, just keeping everything safe, tidy. It's not a super fancy one, but it does work. Um, it's dust proof. I think it's waterproof as well. I wouldn't trust throwing this in a pool, but it is waterproof from what they say. And I can see it. There's like a rubber gasket, rubber gasket. There's a rubber seal on the outside and it's all rubber on the inside, I guess, for some shock resistance. Um, it's a solid, solid piece though. Now we're gonna talk about what's on my actual person, right? What I carry in my pockets on me, ready to go at any second, okay? First things first, we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is a super solid phone. I know they have the 14 and all the dynamic island and stuff like that. I didn't see a need to upgrade maybe next year. I'm seeing a little bit of rumors about a one inch sensor, so we'll see. Maybe the camera's gonna be worth it, but for now, this is my workhorse. As far as taking video and picture every now and then, and um, you know, just scrolling through social media, getting some inspiration, texting, calling, works perfectly fine for me. Next thing is gonna be my keys. These are um, pretty regular average looking keys, I can't lie. Uh, I guess the only really piece of tech on here is gonna be the Apple AirTag. I cannot live without these. 
I'm spoiled now. I've misplaced these repeatedly and it comes in so clutch, especially if I'm in a rush. We all have been there where we're like, continuously searching for the keys and they're just like in the most simple spot. This takes that out of the equation completely, it just starts beeping and you find it instantly. You know, I got the Acura key, shout out my moms for, you know, letting me borrow her car while my car's in the shop. Um, apartment, little key fob and keys for my apartment and mailbox. So my keys are super simple. Next thing we have a knife. I know what you're thinking. Take it easy. All right, buddy, take it easy. This is uh, this is honestly just good to have, whether it's opening packages or using it as a flathead if you don't have a screwdriver around. It just comes in clutch in so many different ways. So I think carrying a knife is a good touch in your everyday carry. On to the next thing. Next, we have my wallet. This is like a $40 wallet off Amazon. I got it for half off. I needed something slim that could hold an air tag. My favorite feature easily is, you know, the little flex with the card. I love this feature. This, I could do this all day. Literally, it's such a such a fidget. But yeah, you push this little thing on the side and uh, all your cards pop up. Nice little flex there. You can also open it up, it's magnetized. We love magnetized. Like this, I could do this all day too. I love magnets, bro. It's so good. Anyways, uh, you can carry your cash, your ID, other cards as well. Like I said, my favorite feature has to be that AirTag. I told you guys, I've lost my wallet a couple times. AirTag, I find it instantly. So let's move straight into the watch. This is the Seiko SRPD63. Nothing really too special about this watch. It's a great beginner watch. I just love the colors, honestly. The face of it is just beautiful to me. I love this green. Solid band. For the price point, you can't beat it. I think it's anywhere from like two to $300. Has a glow in the dark feature as well that is super dope. I would recommend this watch to anybody who's getting into watches that has a little bit of a budget, this is a pretty solid watch. Last but not least, not least in the slightest, is my water bottle. I try to carry a water bottle, whether it's this one or another one, you have to stay hydrated throughout your day. So um, a water bottle is super important to me. I personally like Yeti, keep it nice and cold or nice and hot, depending on you know what vibe you're in. Um, but yeah, super important. Love this water bottle specifically. I have multiple other ones, so if you don't see me carrying this one, it's gonna be another one. Either way, stay hydrated and uh, you won't be mad at yourself. I'm just gonna throw this one in there, all right? The boys put me on this vapor inhaler. This is so fire, dude. I don't know if you guys have tried this or not. I just got put on this year. If you're feeling a little stuffy or a little down, you literally sniff this and it instantly clears you up. It's like, it's like, gum almost but for your nose i don't know how to explain it this is not a drug it's non-medicated it just feels good i can't lie it's a solid piece i try to bring this with me daily super solid i also have you know just honorable mentions i usually carry gum with me maybe like a couple snacks here and there we don't care let me tell you right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't but yeah thanks for watching guys if you have any questions about any of the products they're going to be linked down below and if you have any further questions comment something let me know what your favorite product was or if you're going to pick up any of these new things i'd love to know in the comments down below subscribe like comment do what you got to do take it easy peace